Well, hey everyone, Vic here. Welcome back. Here's a quick tutorial on how to do incognito, also known as private browsing from your smartphone. I happen to be using here a Samsung Galaxy Note, but it really doesn't matter what phone you're using. Yes, I'm using a Droid, but you can do the same thing from an iPhone or a, or a Windows phone, especially if you're using the Google Chrome extension or the Internet Explorer app. Okay, so let's start with the Google Chrome app, which is my favorite. So I go in here and I want to show you one thing first that's necessary. And you see here it shows six tabs that are open up sometimes your phone's running slow because you've got multiple tabs i've got six open up here and um you know you see you see them all listed right and i can actually close them down just by clicking the x once i list what they are okay so and then just click on the one that i want to see now if i want to do incognito browsing here this three dots here that's your friend i'm going to click on those three dots and it's going to open up a little window here is going to say new incognito tab and that's it now let me just tell you what incognito does and what it doesn't do the first thing that it does do is that it doesn't save a history of any of the websites that you're visiting okay so you know like let's say you're visiting Facebook a lot when you go to FA it automatically fills in the rest for you if you're always visiting Facebook or Twitter from the um, uh, from your incognito browser then it'll never save that and you'll always have to type out the full website name so if your boss is using your phone and it's um and you're using a work phone where it's frowned upon to use any type of social media and he starts typing in f a it won't go automatically fill in facebook for him the other thing it doesn't do it doesn't download any of the cookies if you've ever done and done some um uh browsing or uh, shopping let's say at amazon or sears.com for a particular product and then you go to all these different websites a news website or whatever website and you see that these products are following you all around it's because they drop the retargeting cookie onto your phone and enough cookies your phone starts to slow down because now your phone's getting all clogged with all of these cookies okay so it does save that now let's jump on over here we'll go over to our internet explorer you can do incognito there also so i click on the internet explorer brings up the last site that you were at okay now you'll see that i've got only one tab opened up here so i'm going to click on the one this is your friend in internet explorer and now i have the ability to click here to open up an incognito window and it tells you the same thing that's going on here as far as the incognito do's and don'ts okay so with that hope that helps i'll see you on the next one